I ordered a water. Wait, hold on. Are there any gin stands in the audience? know me hold on fuck so if you guys don't know me i am a learning and uh xol and the army so today me and my amazing collarbone and like neckline or whatever the fuck this is basically going to expose you and make you understand every single group you like I, by the end of this video you're not gonna like any k-pop group <laughs> Oh, some of these are like also hard to swallow pills, but honestly, that trend is just so irritating to me because I always see videos like this, but I've never seen it actually made by a person like, like, yeah. And so it's just really frustrating because it's like they use like the robot voice like this. And I'm just like, hey, girl. Whatever you say, but I'm a real human and I'm gonna give you my real human thoughts. I'm not a fucking robot. So I'm gonna start with my first um, unpopular opinion. This isn't like an unpopular opinion, but I'm just gonna say it anyway. And I'm, yeah. So my first unpopular opinion is that, like, I think is not that talented. Look, I know, I know, okay. And actually, like, I won't even say that Blackpink isn't talented. Like, they're not given anything. And I feel like, because I've seen videos like the pre-debut, like, we've all seen, like, the pre-debut video. And it's like, they're fucking killing it. They're like, bitch, better have my money. My money. Now we have fucking dances like. And it's like, hit you with that. Did it, did it, do. I'm just like, something, like, more, you know? And it's like, I saw them, okay, I also saw Blackpink, like, VIP in Chicago. Um, I should come out with a vlog for that, because I recorded stuff. The concert was so, like, it wasn't boring, but it was honestly just so irritating, because I love them as, like, people. But then it was like, you know, like... There was a commercial right in the middle of the fucking concert. Like, it was the Black Pink Kia commercial. It was like a 10 minute long commercial. And we're just sitting here. Like, they didn't give us any actual content, no intermissions. But then, when I saw Twice in concert, which, like, I didn't even expect to see them because I was going with, like, a group of my, like, because I had, like, a K pop club in my college. And, like, I just went, like, a group of them. And, like, their stuff was really good like their shit was together their shit was on point the intermissions were nice like the effects and stuff like during the show were like super cool and they also interacted with fans so i mean like i know blackpink interacted with fans too but like it was only if you paid and like i don't know i just there was no creativity behind it it's like yg really does not have a concept for blackpink it's just so frustrating okay moving on so the next one oh my god did you get oh oh it not like my opinions so <laughs> Um, it's trying to expose me that that Nat is exposing my entire life. So the next thing I have on the agenda My next unpopular opinion that I honestly like I don't want to say this one either, but like I'm just gonna say it so Every song that EXO has released like every album after power has just been so bad like the like, I feel like Power really just kind of fucked their discography up. <laughs> like, I'm not even trying to be, like, mean. But it's just, like, after Power, it's, like, nothing's quality anymore. Maybe it's because, like, NCT is, like, getting popular now. And, like, SM's like, okay, we gotta distribute our money, like, fairly. Like, I understand that because, like, when EXO first debuted, like, everyone else in the, in SM... Like, their music videos were so shitty for, like, half a year. And then EXO comes out with this, like, bomb-ass video with these cool-ass effects, like, mama and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, mama, mama. And I'm just, like, like, I get it. But, like, as an XOL, we have honestly been spoiled for, like, years. Like, and now, like, NCT's here and we're, like, what the fuck is this? Like, where's the budget? Like, Love Shot? Like, Tempo was a good video. Love Shot was okay. But it's, like... I feel like it's kind of just been like a slide of mediocrity and it's not that like their albums aren't really good anymore it's, it's like they don't give me that feeling that like exodus gave me or like exact gave me Ooh, overdose my first era 
And so like listening to Overdose and like Power, oh my God, Power was so bad. The Power video. She tried. The Power video tried so hard, but it just could not succeed because it, it's not good <laughs> like oh I don't want to say it but like it's just true so oh well take it or leave it sister I can't believe so the next one is like an unpopular opinion that has to do with BTS and EXO uh, ugh. and basically this is okay like I said it's just my opinion and I don't want to be up in here starting fan wars you know I'm just gonna leave the comments open because I know it's gonna be a fucking mess but you know what I don't care as a fan of both of them I just have to say this I've been a fan of EXO for like I believe five six years now and like I've been in and out of, out of like the BTS fandom but I solidified myself like recently so you know I'm not like as connected to BTS as I am to EXO, but I feel as though EXO should be in the place that BTS is. And I feel like that's really unpopular. I feel like, I don't feel like it's unpopular. I just feel like people don't want to say it. Like they don't want to be real, but that's just how I feel. I have been at XOL for so long. I remember being in eighth grade. I was like, God, please let Shen Yo come to America so I can see him. And like, they literally came over here for like, maybe like a tour or two and then like they're gone like they should have been having like their peak like with exodus they literally went number one on itunes like the day exodus came out i mean it was only for like a few hours but like that was like k-pop history like that's pretty iconic and then they didn't even like sm is so oh sm sm makes me want to like slap a hoe because they literally like exo had all this like momentum and then like like, BTS just comes in and, like, hey, girl, like, what's good? And it's not even BTS, like, it's big hit. Like, they are so strategic and intelligent and smart. And then SM was just like, oh, well, we only care about Asia, so EXO's just gonna stay in Asia and Japan because that's where we get most of our money. And I'm just like... Like, I really genuinely believe... Like, I... Because when I was younger, like I said, like, I would be made fun of, like, for, like, in K-pop. And I'm like, I would always pray. Like, I didn't really believe in God. But I would always pray. I'm like, God, please, like, just... I want EXO to, like, be super popular here and, like, K-pop to blow up. And, like, I actually wanted... Like, I prayed for EXO to perform at Soldier Field because I saw One Direction at Soldier Field. And <laughs> it just shows that I have not changed at all. Like, just boy band to boy band. Like, hey, what's fucking good? But I remember praying, I was like, God, please bring EXO to Soldier Field. And then BTS goes to Soldier Field. I mean, don't get me wrong. I saw them like both nights. Like, it's so nice to see like K-pop, like be so popular and have people just love them because BTS, they're deserving some so much love. Like they work so hard, but that's where I wanted EXO to be. And so to see BTS there, I'm just like, Bitch. So mad because like EXO's not like they're still popular like with the within like k-pop and like the fandom but they're not really popular like i wanted them i, I wanted them to be like bts i wanted exo to be like performing in stadiums like in america and like doing all this promo and stuff like that but it's like sm and also like exo like i feel like they're extroverted but they're <laughs> ex exo introverted <laughs> I'm so funny. Like, I feel like EXO, they're extroverted, but I feel like they don't have, like, the same energy as, like, BTS. And this isn't, like, a shade because EXO, like, they're so fucking funny, but, like, I don't know. I feel like, obviously, it played out how it played out and, like, you can't change the past, but I was, like, really bitter for a long time. So, let me know what you guys think, and if you like this video, let me know. Um, leave a hate comment, and bye.